The goal of today's tour was to get a first-hand in-depth look of exactly what it is like when these immigrants travel through the brush, specifically in the Rio Grande Valley sector, in this triple-digit heat, sometimes with no food or water. Now, today we learned that nine immigrants have died in the McAllen area of responsibility trying to make this dangerous journey. Again, this is a human life. we got to get to rescue. Let's go. We need some volunteers. A hundred degrees, thick brush, and minimal water. This is the path undocumented immigrants take to make it onto American soil. It is no joke. Every year, thousands of migrants succumb to the harsh border environment. For the month of May, over 144,000 immigrants crossed through brush, thousands of them suffering from heat-related illnesses, in some cases even dying. We had 12 deaths in this area, all very tragic, very unfortunate that they happened. Nobody wants to see death occur on the border. With death becoming more common on the border. That's, that's a new trend, that's an ugly trend that is impacting us here in the McKellen area. Border Patrol showed our cameras what it's like to be in the shoes of migrants and agents alike. You're grabbing a toddler, you're grabbing a young child, and again, you're putting that same individual into the elements. As an when an immigrant or an agent is feeling the effects of the heat, an EMT is ready to spring into action. We're moving. There are multiple teams within Border Patrol that specifically train to help anyone who's suffering in the brush. That's BORTAC, EMTs, and mobile response teams. What I'm hearing in South Texas and all along the border is this is a crisis that is overwhelming our ability to deal with it. It's overwhelming our infrastructure. It's overwhelming our health care system. It's overwhelming just here in the Rio Grande Valley. RGV Sector Chief Rudy Karish said Border Patrol agents are spending $1.2 million every single month just on food alone for immigrants inside of processing centers. Reporting along the U.S.-Mexico border, I'm Sydney Hernandez.